Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome back. Today we're gonna cover the Steam Summer Sale, another topic that I promised I will cover recently, because it is kind of important, and I'm gonna quickly explain why it is important in general, as well as tell you what you could do in order to A. Profit from it, B. Be safe and not lose money, C. Just educate yourself what happens during summer sales or winter sales, but because they're pretty much the same in terms of effect just so you know whatever happens. And we are gonna approach this from the perspective of a skin trader or skin investor, right? We're not actually interested in the games that are gonna go on sale. That's not what I'm talking about. We're interested in the economy of CSGO skins. You've probably already seen the timer right here. There is two days and 23 hours till the summer sale starts, which is basically three days from now. I, I probably should have made this video a little bit earlier just to give you a little more time to prepare. Uh, but I think it's better than nothing. <laughs> so yeah, let's let's go with it. Another answer to a question you might have, how long is the summer sale? It is two weeks long. It's always two weeks long, so you can pretty much count on that. So what really happens during the Steam summer sale? Why is this important at all? Well, first of all, you know that the Steam summer sale brings lots of discounts to very wanted games. And most CSGO players, they have CSGO skins. And Whenever those games go on discount, the natural thing is, they sell their skins to buy those games. It's pretty straightforward. And because so many people are selling their skins at once, this kind of throws off the balance of demand and supply, and all of a sudden there is so much more supply, people are selling like a lower and lower and lower price, and the people buying don't keep up, so the prices fall quite a bit, but when the prices of these skins fall, the demand also increases until they kind of equalize. And from what I've noticed from the previous summer sales, skins tend to drop around 10-15% during this period. I know, it's not that much, but this number would be an average. An average of 15% means that some skins are gonna drop 5%, some skins are gonna drop 30%. And I can show you that on the example of AK-47 Redline field tested, because this skin is so common, it's kind of like an index fund of the, of the Steam market, because it does really mimic the development of the Steam market in a quite decent way. And you can see, like, in the entire history of the market, how it's been going. You can see that the previous year, there was a massive boost in skin prices that was pretty much a bubble. And after it burst, it felt prices fell down even below they were in the beginning. And that reflected on this skin as well. But the summer sale from last year specifically happened around this time. And in that time, the price fell about 10%. And while normally it would be expected for the prices to recover, they didn't, because the whole market was falling everywhere. And that kind of led to prices not recovering. But when you observe let's say, normal years, like all throughout the other summers, let's find another one, for example, July, here. This would be the summer sale from two years ago. We have the skin going at about 14 previously for two months, and then suddenly it lost about 15%, and right after this sale is ended, prices are pretty much back to where they were, and you can notice that throughout the history repeating itself. And by looking at this example, you're gonna really ask yourself, how are we sure that a year like the previous year is not gonna happen? Well, let me give you some reminders. In 2021, we had some crazy boosts in price. Like, the Dragon Lore went two times in price over two weeks or something like that. Other rare collections also doubled in price. It was absolutely crazy. There hasn't been any big volatile movements in the market for a pretty long time. No big drops, no big rises, and so on. Actually, from my observations this year, all the crashes that were happening in the CSGO market from like nude major, uh, major discount, and so on, they did not have a big impact. Actually, much lower impact than normal. So, there might be a smaller impact during the summer sale as well, just because the market is so stable. I think you shouldn't count on the prices going too low, but of course it varies from skin to skin. I doubt you're gonna see the expensive skins like 100 euro plus going down in price, maybe just a tiny bit, but the skins that actually get affected by this crash 
would be like cheap skins like slates, phantom disruptors, neon revolution, desolate space, and so on. Stuff that people have access to and they don't mind selling. Stuff like that. Okay, now I have explained what happens and why does it happen. So I understand that. But okay, how can we profit from this? Previously, in my previous uh, videos about this summer sale, winter sale, I always talked about the possibility to buy skins on the Steam market and then resell them on the Steam market as well to get the profit. But I've come kind of to the conclusion that that is by far the least optimal way you can profit. It is really the worst way you can profit. And just I had to gain some experience to come to that conclusion. And yes, there are much better ways to profit. And it's really simple. It's not a something difficult. It really starts the same way. You just purchase random play skins that have fallen in price during the sale. And you purchase them about one, two days after the start of the sale, because that's when the prices are at their lowest throughout the sale, because it doesn't crash immediately, it takes about one, two days to reach the bottom. And afterwards, it's pretty much a plateau until it starts rising again. And right here you see just a couple of casual examples. Op Neo Noir, Op Atheris, Op Mortis, Leaded Glass, The Empress. Those are good example of play skins that people sell in order to buy video games. Okay. We got that out of the way. Okay, what do you do next? Next is you wait. You wait until the summer sale is over and the prices are more or less recovered. After that, you just sell that stuff on Buff or other third-party marketplaces. In my case, I'm gonna sell on Skimport. Perhaps you can sell somewhere else. Doesn't really matter, but you just gotta find a good option for you. And the thing is, you might profit 15-20% on the Steam market this way, but if you sell through other websites, you're gonna get a bigger return. And I might as well mention the way that you would go about buying these skins, right? So you would wait for them to drop a couple of days after the start of the sale, and then don't just start buying from here because these are sell orders. You're gonna start buying with buy orders. For example, currently someone is asking to buy 109 of these for 151. And I could just ask for 152, just one cent above this guy. I want to buy 15. I actually don't have that money now, but if I did, I could put this buy order, assuming that their crash has already happened, and that, that is how I would buy this skin. I'm actually trying to get some Steam funds myself right now. I'm, I have these items for sale. They've been on sale for like a couple of days. Still haven't sold. I'm really trying to sell them fast because... If the sale starts, no one's gonna be really buying these items, so I wanna sell them before the sale and actually have the money at the beginning of the sale, because this would add up to quite a bit of money, like 1000 euros perhaps, and with that I can buy a shitload of skins, yeah, pretty much. Okay, I think you understand what the process of profiting from CSGO skins through this crash is. It's pretty simple, really. I mean, this is just the same thing you would do anytime there is a crash, and I think it's the most efficient way. Actually, as you remember, the M4A1S recently had a crash of its own, and exactly one day after it crashed, it reached its bottom. Guess what? On the June 17th at 1am, I purchased a bunch of these M4A1Ss, probably 200 euros worth of them, because that's how much I had, I just filled a bunch of buy orders, bought them for 4.4 something. Now they're quite a bit more expensive than that. I know, it doesn't seem like much, but this is 5% more expensive. And while they're still recovering, they might go even higher. But of course, this is probably not gonna happen because summer sell is in three days. So crash on top of a crash is not ideal. Still, I have quite a bit of faith in this item, so that's why I bought them. Mainly because I don't really think the crash was justified, like it went down way too much. This skin was trading at 6 euros, it fell down to 450. That's 25% down, it's too much, it's too much. In terms of protecting your skins, there isn't really much for you to do because summer sale or like small crashes like this, they don't really affect the skin long term, it just falls in price for a bit, two weeks, usually three weeks sometimes, but it always recovers. So even though there is a crash, what you have to do is not panic and not sell, 
because that's pretty natural response to sell if you see something crashing. Don't do that. If it's crashed already, leave it leave it be. Don't sell it because that's the worst point for you to sell. In in most situations, right? There is different kinds of situations we're talking about specifically summer sell. Don't do that because there is a high chance your skins are going to recover. But yeah, I think I've explained my plan, which is to just try and sell these items and perhaps a little more because I have a bunch more in my inventory. I'm going to try to sell some of these on the Steam market. I don't know which exactly I'm going to sell, but I'm going to figure that after this video. Still, I'm going to get some funds and during the sale, I'm just going to buy up everything I can for as cheap as possible. And whenever I make my next flipping update video, which now I want to make regularly, like once a month, that would be at the end of June. And when I make that video, I will include an update regarding what I bought during the summer sale, because I'm sure some of you are going to find that interesting. Also, another tip for people that don't really understand how to find these skins to purchase during a summer sale. What you do is really simple and you shouldn't ask somebody else for specific skins because you're not gonna get far if you're gonna have to ask people for specific skins. You have to ask how to find them and this is how you find them. You just go to the Steam Market, you sort by CSGO and then you just scroll to random pages. And what this does is it lists the most popular skins, right? The first page is the most popular, sixth page is sixth page most popular, you understand, like it goes down with pages. And right here you can find a bunch of play skins. And you're not gonna look at cases, not at stickers, not at this, but specifically play skins from cases. This is what you want. Probably also stay away from um, from new skins, like from the Dreams and Nightmares case. Stay away from those because uh, they kinda tend to go down in price over time, since the case is still going down in price. It's recently reached like what, 80 cent? How much is it now? 74 cent now. So yeah, it's actively going down in price. It's, it's not looking pretty. You can see here, yep, just recently from 1 euro to 74 cent. Yeah, it's going down because it's normal. It's a new case. It's still very expensive and the price isn't really justified, even though there is quite a bit of them already. But yeah, I think I've made my points clear. If if there is still something you're confused about, write it down. If you disagree with something, then also write it down in the comments because I'm happy to hear and answer your questions. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Maybe another thing, if you want to create an account on Skimport and start flipping there as well, you can do so with the link down in the description. And like the reason I'm recommending their website is not just because I'm affiliated with them, but I'm also like actively flipping there. You can see my... Uh, how can I say, history of trading, 65,000 euros in sales. You can see the whole uh, whole graph all the way from September last year. It's a pretty good website, like, <laughs> it's fucking great. So if you want to try it as well, go give it a run. I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.